Spice Man. That's right. We add it up, multiply it, man. Spice Man. Oh, yes. A couple things we're gonna learn today. Spice Man. All right. Take some time, let you catch yourself. Spice Man. That's right. You won't believe it's just man. Come on. Hi, I'm Ruth Dutton. Hi, I'm Aaron Williams. Hi, I'm Brandon Alexander. Hi, I'm Kelvin Dutton. Hello, I'm Lyndon Sincere. We are your Spice Math Tutors. You won't believe it's just math, just math. Hi, my Spice Math Whisk Kids. Welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we'll be looking at ratio. We'll be looking at ratio. There are four objectives that we should accomplish by the end of the lesson. In other words, there are four things I expect you to know at the end of the lesson. Our four things, one, you should be able to define the term ratio. Two, write ratios in three different ways. Three, identify the ratio in given scenarios. And four, share a quantity using a ratio. Are we ready? All right, so let us define the term ratio. I want you to read what's on the screen and I also want you to write it down. Read, write, then you'll remember. So let's go. A comparison between two or more quantities showing their sizes in relation to each other. All right, so you'll write in a comparison between two or more quantities showing their sizes in relation to each other. So remember, you read, you write, and then you'll be able to remember. All right, so we're comparing different quantities, and we're looking at their sizes in relation to each other. All right, our second objective, we are to be able to write ratios in three different ways. So the first way is that we can write it as a fraction. We we'll write it as a fraction. One quantity would be the numerator, the other quantity would be the denominator. We can also write it with a colon. All right, so for example, if we look at the diagram or the picture, we have two green circles and we also have three blue squares. So the ratio two to three, the two represented the green circles, correct? And the three represents the blue squares. Over here, we're using the colon, two to three. So we can write it as a fraction, we can write it with a colon, and we can also write it in words using the word two. So two circles to three squares. Two circles to three squares. So what are all three ways again? Go with me. I can write it as a fraction. I can write it with a colon. And I can also write it in words. Take note of that quickly. All right, so we're ready to see if we can identify the ratio in different examples. And on this slide, we'll be looking at examples with pictures or diagrams. So first, we have five stars. Then we have three hearts. Now look at it. We have three ways in which we can write this ratio. We have five stars, three hearts. I want you to think about the three ways. The three ways as a fraction, with a colon, and with words. Five stars, three hearts. All right, so you have your three ways. Let's check. As a fraction, 
5 over 3. With a colon, 5 colon 3. With words using the word 2, 5 stars, 2, 3 hearts. Are we correct? Of course, we had 5 stars, 3 hearts. 5 stars, 2, 3 hearts. Let's check out our next set of diagrams. All right? You should be seeing two baseball bats and one, two, three, four, five, six balls. So at present, we have two bats and six balls. Now I want you to interact with the persons in your room. Ask somebody to give you the ratio in a fraction. Ask somebody else to give you the ratio with a colon. And then I want you to tell them the ratio in words using the word to. All right, did they get it correct? All right, let's give them a high five with every answer. As a fraction, two over six. With a colon, two colon six. With words, two bats, two, six balls. All right, so I'm excited. You can do ratios using diagrams. Let's take it a little step further. Let's use scenarios with words. And then I want you to do the same thing. Identify the ratio as a fraction with a colon and with words using the word to. Our first example. Jerry had seven red balls and eight white balls. Jerry had seven red balls and eight white balls. The clock is ticking. Write that ratio. Fraction with a colon and in words. All right, let's see if you got it correct. As a fraction, seven over three. With a colon, seven colon three. In words, seven red balls to eight white balls. All right, I wish I was close to you so I might be able to give you seven gold stars. Let's try another. Read with me. In a bag of plums, there are nine red plums and 17 green plums. In a bag of plums, there are nine red plums and 17 green plums. I do not want you to focus on whether the plums taste good or not. What I want you to do is to give me this scenario in the three different ways we write a ratio, as a fraction, with a colon, and with words. In a bag of plums, there are nine red plums and 17 green plums. All right, so let's check our answers. 
No, we are all A plus students. I'm an A plus student, and guess what? You are an A plus student too. So let's look at our answer. As a fraction, 9 over 17, as a colon, with a colon, sorry, 9 colon 17, and in words using the word to, 9 red plums to 17 green plums. Now, it's very important that you know how to use your ratio, or else, maybe as a Nancy story, compare Tiger or compare Nancy may trick you a bit. So know how to use your ratios. Let's now go to our fourth objective. And that means you should have the ability to divide a given quantity using a ratio. We have a scenario that we're going to use and some steps we will follow. While I read, I would like the girls to read along. Look at your screen and read. Let's go. Maria had 12 pens. She shared it between her brother and sister using the ratio one to three respectively. How many pens did each get? We'll read again and this time, boys, would you please join me? Let's go. Maria had 12 pens. She shared it between her brother and sister using the ratio one to three respectively. How many pens did each get? Now before we answer the question, let me explain the use of the word respectively. We have, she shared it between her brother. So the first person mentioned is the brother and the second person mentioned is the sister. So the first number in the ratio will be for the brother. The second number, which is the three, will be for the sister. So the one, this is for the brother, and the three is for the sister. So in other words, how many pens did the brother get with his one share? And how many pens did the sister get with her three shares? All right, so that is what we're trying to find out. The first thing we need to do is find the total amount of parts shared. And we're going to go back to our ratio one to three. We'll add the one and the three. One plus three will give me four. One plus three will give me four. So every time I share, brother will get one, sister will get three. So every time I share, or every time Maria shared, sorry, four pens were given. Calculate the quantity in each part, or a second step. Calculate the quantity in each part. So it's a share, but each time I give my share or my part, there might be a number of items in it. In this case, a number of pens. So Maria is sharing 12, and we're going to divide it by the amount of parts. 12 divided by 4 will give me 3. 12 divided by 4 will give me 3. So every time somebody gets one serving or one share, they'll be actually getting three pens. So using the ratio, brother will have three. So we know that brother will have three. And we'll have to do something to find out how many pens did the sister get. So let's go to our third step which will actually answer the question, how many pens did each get? We're gonna, the number of parts in the ratio, so brother, brother is getting one, brother is getting one, and we know that in each, we have three pens, so one multiplied by three will give us three. So the brother actually got three pens. Now the sister is to get three portions, correct? All right, so she's getting three portions of pens, and in each portion or in each share, she will get three. So three multiplied by three will give me nine. The sister will get nine pens. Now we need to ensure that our answer is correct. If I add three to nine, will I get 12? 
Right. So, using the ratio of 1 to 3, sharing 12 pens between a brother and a sister, the brother will get 3 pens and the sister will get 9 pens. And at the end of this, Maria would have shared her 12 pens. Take a moment to go through our steps again before we try some. All right, we're going to try three questions. They will appear on the screen one question at a time. So you'll do one, we work together, do another, we work together, and then we'll do the final question. Are you ready? All right. So the first question, share 20 stars between two persons using the ratio three to seven. You'll see it on your screen. Share 20 stars between two persons using the ratio 3 to 7. All right, so we are sharing 20 stars using the ratio three to seven. How many stars are we sharing? All right, let's put a little star so that you remember and we're sharing 20. We are sharing 20 stars. All right, so the ratio three to seven and we have to find the number of parts. How do we do that again? We add the numbers in the ratio. So we have three and we have seven. So it will be three plus seven, and that will give me 10. So every time we make a share, we actually be given 10 stars. All right, now quantity in each part. We know that we are not sharing 10 stars. So each part will have a certain amount of stars in it. The formula or the process we will use, we will take the amount or the quantity to be shared. Remember we're sharing 20 stars. So I'll take my 20 and I'll divide it by the number of parts and that will be 10. And 10 into 20 or 20 divided by 10 will give me two. All right? So every share will have two stars. So we're trying to find out the amount each person will receive. Now I've named person R, anybody with the name starting with R, and anybody with the name starting with A. And we're using the ratio 3 to 7. We already identified that in each part, we will have two stars. So R is getting three parts. So therefore, R is getting three. And in each part, he's going to get two stars. Multiply by two stars. All right? So R will actually get six stars. I will get six stars. Now let's look at A. A will have seven parts and each part 
has two stars. So A will actually get 14 stars. When we add our 6 and our 14, we will get our initial 20 stars. So were you able to share 20 stars using the ratio 3 to 7? Take a look at what we did again. All right, you're doing well. Let's go to our second example. We are reading, look on your screen, share 40 pencils among A, B, and C using the ratio 1 to 2 to 5. We have three numbers in the ratio because we are sharing among three persons. The question again, share 40 pencils among A, B, and C using the ratio 1 to 2 to 5. Take your time now. I'll be waiting right here for you. Okay, we are sharing 40 pencils between A, B, and C. What's the ratio we're using? Read with me, please. One to two to five. How many parts do we have? Add up the numbers in the ratio. One plus two plus five will give us eight. So we're working with eight parts. Now, before we can find out how many pencils A got, how many pencils B got, and so on, we must first find out how many pencils are in each part, the quantity in each part. So, we'll take the total to be shared, which is 40, and we'll divide it by the number of parts, which is 8, and that will give us an answer of 5. All right, so in each part, we'll have five pencils. Remember, we are sharing 40 pencils. So each part will have five pencils. Now the question is, how many pencils will A get? How many pencils will B get? And how many pencils will C get? We're using the ratio one to two to five. All right, so, we work in every time. Remember, each share will be five pencils in it. So A will be getting one. So A will be getting one multiplied by five. Correct? B will be getting two multiplied by five. And C will be getting five multiplied by five. All right, so work this. I know you're good with your multiples of five. I can hear you saying five, 10, 15, 20, 25, go in, all right. So one by five will give me five. So A will get five pencils. Two by five will give me 10. So B will be getting 10 pencils. Correct. And now let's hear you shout out. How many pencils will C be getting? Ah, very good. Five by five is equal to 25 pencils. 
No, we're excited about our answer, but a good math student will always check to see if the answer is correct. We were sharing 40 pencils. All right, will we get 40 here? Will we? Let's try. 5 and 10 is 15. And when I add 15 to 25, I will get my 40. So you just shared 40 pencils between A, B, and C. And I know you're ready to try our last question. So look at your screen and read along with me. If Janice used a ratio of four to three to share 35 shells between Tom and Jane, how many shells did Jane get? If Janice used a ratio of four to three to share 35 shells between Tom and Jane, how many shells did Jane get? All right, I'm giving you the opportunity to work it out. All right, so I believe you got the answer. I have the answer on the board. I don't want you to just take the answer and go. Let's go through the steps. All right, so we are sharing how many shells? We are sharing 35 shells. What's the ratio we used? Four to three. We use the ratio four to three. All right, so let's identify or calculate the number of parts. The number of parts, we add the numbers in our ratio. Four plus three, that gave us seven. Four plus three is seven. Now, how many shells are in each part? We took the total amount of shells to be shared. We divided it by the number of parts, which is seven, and that gave us five. So, in each part, we actually have five shells. All right, so you're going with me. Very good. Amount each person will receive, or amount each person receives. We are working with Tom and Jane. Reminder, we use the ratio four to three. All right, so we know that Tom should get four parts in each part. How many shells do we have? Five. So Tom will get 20 shells. Jane is getting three parts. Each part has five shells. So three multiplied by five will give us 15 shells. Now the question gave us information for Tom and Jane, but we were actually asked to find how many shells did Jane get? So we have Tom and Jane, and this is to help us to ensure that our answer is correct. So when I add 20 to 15, I will get my initial total of 35 shares. So how many shares did Jane get? Jane got 15 shares. Isn't it amazing how we can use ratios to share different quantities? Now find some objects at home and try out sharing with different ratios. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. You won't believe it's just math. Come on. You won't believe it's just math.